Okay, so today we're going to be quickly looking at how we can format a document in Microsoft Word. Um, here's some text that I've got off the internet relating to buying a license for phishing. As we can see, there's a bit of, well, there's a lot of red lines everywhere saying that the spelling of license is incorrect. Um, Microsoft Word is usually set to the American spelling of words in English. So I'm going to quickly change that by clicking on the bottom option here and highlighting the text to UK language. Um, if it's not available at the top of this language window, obviously scroll down and find the appropriate language and then click OK. That is now gotten rid of that red line, which says that we spelt it incorrectly in the first place. So what I'm going to do now is have a quick read through the text and obviously section off the bits of information and style it appropriately so it's easier to read. Um, obviously we can see at the top here that this is our title for the types of license um, licenses we can buy in the fishing rod limits. So what I'm going to do to make it more clear as a title is make it bold and I'm going to increase the font size to 20 just to make it clear that that is a title or the main title. Next thing I'm going to do is obviously have a further read of it and I can see that this should potentially be a subtitle, this little section. So again, I'm going to make it bold, but this time I'm going to make the font size 16. So that is slightly, you know, smaller than the main heading. Um, what I'm also going to do is change or highlight this text just to make it slightly more clearer and you can do that by looking at these tabs which is available in the small pop-up or the main ribbon. So I click on that, bang, I've just highlighted that title as well. So if we look now, we can see that there are different well, different kind of options that we can choose from. So if we decide to go with this trout course fish and eel license, it will let us fish for non-migratory trout and all freshwater fish. Uh, you must choose between the following or you must choose the following kind of ways to fish. You can choose with either one rod, two rods or two rods for freshwater fish. Um, so obviously this is a list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that and make it bullet points just so we can see that this is a list. And there's a bit more information about this as well. So you can buy a 12 months license, which lets you use three rods for freshwater fish. Um, but you've got different rules that apply for that. Here we can see there is another title for another set of licenses for fishing for salmon and sea trout. So again, I'm going to make that bold, but this time I will use the ribbon. And again, I think we set that to size 16. And just to be a little bit different, I'm going to highlight a different color. Let's go with this nice blue. Um, this tells me that this license lets us fish for salmon, sea trout and non-migratory trout in all freshwater fishes or and all freshwater fishes. And there are three possible ways of doing that. And you can have one rod, two rods and or three rods. So this is again a list. I'm going to quickly highlight that and make it bullet points again. So as we can see going through this, we are now making it a lot more easier to read. Got a bit of information here about what you can report or what you should be reporting every year. Um, rods that do not affect by limit, the following rods. So there we go, we got another potential subtitle here. So I'm going to use this this time, make it bold. My subtitles are all 16. And let's highlight that another color. Let's go for let's go for red. Why not? Um, and then we've got another list. So we have something called a spot rod and a marker rod. So those are things that are not affected by license limit. So again, let's just quickly put that in bullet points. And we have now formatted the document to make it look a lot more easier to read. There are obviously other features that you can use in Microsoft Word. If I just demonstrate on the title, so if I highlight that, you can underline using the underline feature. 
that will put an underlining over the title. What you can also do is use this tool here, the italics tool, which will basically put a little slant on the text. I'll do that, well, just for the sake of it, I wouldn't personally do it like this, but just to demonstrate how the tool works, you can obviously set the, t um, the text so that it slants. Um, you can also insert images, so if you download an image, you can go to the insert tab and use this feature to insert an image into a document. Um, if you wanted to, you could also write your name at the top of a document by entering information into the headers. Uh, to do that, click on the headers um, tool and that will obviously open up a section where you can write in the specific header and usually you'd write your name and possibly in the footer section you would write your page number. Um, you could also insert tables if you really wanted to, to kind of you know, section out some data um, that you are talking about. Um, if you want to, you could also align text. So as a demonstration, I will demonstrate it on this bit of text here. You can use the center align tool just to kind of put the text in the center. You can align it to the right if you wish. Make the text appear on the right. But for this purpose, we are just keeping it on the left. Um, you can also change the font color. And that is over here on the font color tool. I'm going to change all this text to a color just to demonstrate this. We'll change it to, let's say, dark blue or just blue. And then we'll change this font color to dark blue again. There we go. We've now just demonstrated how we can change um, the color of some font. Um, other things that you could also do. Yeah, you've got all types of tools here that you can have a look at as well. But if I did want to change the font type as well, let's just quickly select all of that. Um, let's just do the last thing and changing the font that we can actually show our text in. And I'm going to choose just a classic font. Let's just go with Times New Roman. And that has changed the whole font as a whole and made it appear as, well, a different font style. So those are some tools that you can use when formatting a Word document. And this is an example of how you can, well, format a document to make it slightly more readable to a user.